your, you, this doesn't look good on your face. What are you saying? Absolutely not. You don't so, think for so. so long we've been saying, hey, come to this country illegally, you get free benefits, you get this and that and the other. Now we're saying, come to this country illegally, you're guaranteed a job. It's absolutely out, outrageous. First of all, you have to be trained to be a care worker, mm -hmm. serious training. It's a vocation, it's a calling, it's not just a job that anyone can rock up and do. Secondly, you need experience. But thirdly, and possibly most importantly, you need DBS checks, criminal background checks. Do a lot of the people that are coming over those borders have any paperwork at all, never mind. Uh, in fact, they're actually committing a crime most of the time, aren't they, by crossing the border illegally? Well, not all of them are, not all of it at the minute are coming here illegally. Um, what, what do you think? Well, yeah, I've got a bit of an issue with what Calvin's saying, because he's saying they're coming here illegally. No, they're seeking asylum. This not all, is some, not all of them. This is, this is, well, not all of them. All That's those chaps the asylum are, process. On, on the news bulletins we've been watching today, all those chaps jumping off the boat, you think they're all Oh, you think, you think men can't, can't be victims of, like, a, a brutal regime? Do you genuinely think that most people who are coming over here are coming over here? Well, I think that's what the asylum. system is for. It's what has happened to you, Leo? Who the hell is <laughs> this? God, get out. No, we, we've been, no it's on, we've been funding. No, we've been funding instability and bombing countries. Oh, my gosh. And then, like, you know, people... people obviously, people want to get out of, uh, you know, Syria okay, or but Iraq a lot of them, or... But or, a lot of people um, aren't coming... I mean, Wales. Wales. Well, oh, Wales. <laughs> but a lot of people aren't... Yeah, a lot of people, though, if you look at the actual, if, you, if they look at the demographic and where they're coming from, a lot of people aren't actually coming from the countries that necessarily that we have bombed or got involved in some action with. And actually, if we keep going further back, you could probably find um, that there was tyranny from somewhere else and somewhere else. And yeah, how far back are we going to go? I mean, that, that, to yeah, doesn't, I mean, the, that doesn't stand I think, in water. I think it's, it's a noble about, thing for us but, to do to offer asylum but, to people who deserve it. Obviously, there are going to be people who abuse that system, just as there's people who abuse the benefit system. But what about system. Calvin's comment that actually what you're doing is a encouraging people now to come across here because they'll definitely get a job at the well, end. Well, because they're going to be able to wipe someone's bum in a nursing home. Well, they're going to get a job, aren't they? I don't think they? that's really much and, of us. And, and what about the effect it will have on those who are trying to come here legally and trying to get jobs legally from other countries rather than taking asylum? But route? seeking asylum is a legitimate way to, to enter the country. I mean, we, we can't deny that. There, there may be people who abuse the system, uh, but we've got this huge uh, lack of staff in, in care homes and in nursing homes. So it seems sensible. We've got these people who want to work, who are here, but aren't allowed to work. So why not bring those two things together and solve okay. two problems? What about increasing more their money, though? To just not fire the 100,000 people for not taking the vaccine in the first that place. That would have made a lot well, of sense. Yeah, but, OK, so if we take that out of the equation, because, you know, that's the rule. No, that's, that's the easiest thing to do. But but you could no, but say, there, was still an issue. Could also, there was still an issue before that, though, so that sure, wouldn't sure. solve the problem. You could also say, wouldn't it make more sense to not leave Europe so that the, the temporary workers and the, the migrant workers leave and no, go back to... No, we need to, to train more homegrown talent. We can't rely homegrown on... Talent. Have you, have you walked of... down the street? <laughs> yeah, what are you saying about your fellow Brits? <laughs> mm. I'm saying a lot of Brits don't want to do these jobs. They see them as beneath them. No, we've got because a they're not being... System, so they'd rather sit inside, I... sponging off the I tax well, well, listen, get a job. Get Leo, some that. might do that, but it, it, as Joyce said, and she works in the care sector, she said, the pay, I asked her specifically, what if they increased the wages? Would that attract more staff? And she said, yes. So this issue well, isn't obviously that... Obviously, if you increase pay, it's going to well, attract more staff. The but they're is, not being paid properly, the are they? Is, that pay comes from my taxes, and I don't want it to go up because I want to pay less tax. I think it should go down. But then <laughs> we should just get asylum seekers to do everything in the public sector. Oh, that's interesting, <laughs> isn't it? Well, I, I, I presume he's joking, but of course the show's nothing without you. We, we can let one of a go at being prime minister at least. Well, I suppose, but you.